Conte de Giris about. When he burns you, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and let's get going. The air between you was tense, electric. It's late, far too late for this kind of argument. But the adrenaline cursing through your veins won't let you back down. Katsuki stands across the room, his eyes burning with frustration, as he faces like a caged animal. I don't understand why you always have to be so damn stubborn. He snaps, running a hand through his spiky hair. The gesture was rough, borderline frantic, and his jaw tightening with every word. Oh, so I'm the stubborn one now? Are you being serious? You bite back, crossing your arms over your chest. The pulse at your temples is pounding, anger mixing with something that feels an awful lot like hurt. What about you? Always pushing me away, acting like you don't need anyone. Like, you don't need me. He stops pacing, his gaze snapping back to yours. That's not what I mean, okay? You don't get it, do you? You think you know everything. You don't know what it's like to be afraid of losing everything because of a single mistake. The accusation stings, but they refuse to look away. I'm not going anywhere, Katsuki. You're the one who can't see that. You're so scared of screwing up that you won't let me in. A silence falls, heavy and suffocating. His eyes search yours, as if trying to find the truth in your words. But something shifts. Maybe. An interaction. And in an instant, a spark ignites in his palm. It's small, a flicker of light that bursts to life as he clenches his fists. But it's enough. The room flares with heat, and before you can step back, you feel it, a flash of burning pain across your forearm. You gasp, the sound strangled as you jerk away your arm, eyes widening in shock. The angry red line across your skin glows hot, a searing reminder of how close his control teeters to breaking. Katsuki's face pales as realization dawns. The fire in his eyes was extinguished by horror. As he reaches out, his hand trembling. No, no, I don't. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to. He takes a step back, instant taking over, even though the sight of his stricken. Expression sends guilt flowing at your heart. The sting of the burn blurs with the ache in your chest. An ache that hurts worse than any wound. Katsuki. You managed. The hurt in your voice cutting through the haze of pain and anger. He flinches at the sound of his name, eyes wide, and incurs radically vulnerable. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. You hold your breath as his fingers hover over your burned arm, eyes meeting his. You can see it in his face, the self-loathing, the fear, the frustration. You know this isn't who he is that he would never willingly hurt you. But it happened, and that's something that you both need to confront. I know you didn't mean to. You say softly, your voice wavering. The initial anger has ebbed, replaced by exhaustion and a deep sadness. But we can't keep doing this, Katsuki. We can't keep fighting like this. He doesn't look away, doesn't let go of your gaze as he finally dares to touch your arm. Fingers grazing the edge of the burn. His touch was gentle. A contradiction of everything that he's known for. I know. He whispers, and you hear the promise in his voice. I'll fix this, I swear. You nod, a silent understanding passing between you. There is no denying the storm that rages in him, but there is also no denying the warmth that falls when the chaos settles. It will take time, healing for both the burn on your arm and the wounds neither of you could see. But you were willing to try. Let's take care of this. He says, more steady now, guiding you to set while he grabs the first aid kit. The room was silent, but for the sound of his movements, careful and controlled as he tensed your burn, and as the pain begins to dull, you feel the weight in the room shift.
a small step towards. Katsuki returns with the first aid kit. His eyes go to your arm as he kneels in front of you. There is an unfamiliar shakiness in his hands as he opens the kit and pulls out what he needs. The sight tugs at something deep inside you. This powerful, headstrong man, brought low by guilt. The silence between you is heavy. Each second punctuated by the soft crinkle of bandages and the snap of plastic as he unscrews the cap of the burn ointment. He dabs a bit onto his fingers, eyes flicking up to yours for a brief moment, searching for permission. You give a small nod, lighting back a once as the cool gel touches the angry red line on your skin. His fingers are rough, marked by the years of battle, but now they move with a tenderness that feels almost foreign. You watch him, the way his brows knit together in concentration, the way his jaw tightens as if punishing himself for what happened. Katsuki, he says softly, and he pauses, looking up at you through his lashes. The raw emotion in his eyes makes your chest tighten. He looks like he's bracing himself for the worst. Like he's ready for you to pull away or tell him that it's too much. But you don't. Instead, he lets your free hand rest tightly on his shoulder, grounding the both of you. You don't have to keep finishing yourself. You continue. I'm not going anywhere. But we need to find a way to handle this before it breaks us. He lets out a breath he didn't know he was holding. His shoulder is slumping as some of the tension bleeds away. I know. He admits, voice hoarse, as if it cost him something to say it. It's not easy, keeping this in check. Try not to. He breaks off, frustration creasing his brow. I know. You reply, squeezing his shoulder. You both understand that he's never been good at expressing what goes on inside his head. And the moments, when he does, let his guard down or rare, precious. He resumes, dressing your arm, his touch steadying as he wraps the gauze around your burn. The rhythmic motion is almost soothing, a tangled sign of his efforts, to put the pieces back together. When he finishes, he ties it off and leans back. I'm sorry. I hate that I can't just fix things, and that I hurt you. It's not about being perfect, Katsuki. It's about trying and learning and not shutting me out when things get hard. Also, not hurting me. You're not afraid? I am. But I'm also not afraid of fighting for us. For you. <sighs> You're so damn stubborn, then. Takes one to know one. He shoot back, and the ghost of a smile turns real, curving his lips for a split second. I'll do better. I'll learn. For us. You close your eyes, allowing the night of the night to ease, replaced by the quiet understanding that love is never simple and never easy, but always worth it. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And goodbye!